Hello everybody! V Music Fan is back bringing smiles to the faces, knowledge to the people, and most importantly, music to the masses. And I'm back with another episode of 5 Minute Theory, where I teach you something about music in 5 minutes or less. Now, over the last couple of weeks we've been going over intervals, and we still have a bunch to go. So I'm going to be combining two together. I'm going to be going a little bit out of order, but there's a reason because the next two videos after that are kind of similar in the actual motion of the intervals. So I wanted to put these two together. And those ones are going to be ascending and descending major thirds and ascending and descending tritones. So if you haven't watched the previous videos on intervals, I highly recommend that you watch that first. So that way you can get caught up and understand what we're going to hear. So without further ado, let's get going. So. First thing is we're going to be looking at the major third. So a major third is either four half steps, so or two whole steps apart. So for example, C to E is a major third, G to B is a major third, B flat to D is a major third, so on and so forth. You hear a lot of these jumps usually when you're doing arpeggios. So for example, like we were talking about last week with minor thirds being on the end of a major third, that major third is the, the beginning of that, and then the minor third on top. Same thing with minor chords. I could go minor third, major third on top. Some ascending dis examples are Ubla di Ubla da by the Beatles. So Ubla di Ubla da. You also have Michael rode the boat to shore, which you, again pretty similar. Michael rode the boat to shore. Major third. You also have can't buy me love. So can't buy me love. All these using that example of the major third in arpeggio. Kind of the same idea when we're going down. So you can also do swing low, sweet chariot. So the major third going down. You also have summertime. So summertime and the living is easy. And then we also have giant steps, which is a very interesting song with thirds because most of the melody is based around the major and minor third. So for example, if we go down, major third, minor third, major third, up a minor third, and then, and then major third, minor third, major third, and then up a minor third again. So it switches off between the major and minor thirds. A very interesting chord production. Then we're going to look quickly at tritones. So the tritone is technically the halfway point in the chromatic scale. It is the six half steps above. So, so six or three whole steps. Something that we don't usually hear in music. It's a very tight tone, a very dissonant tone, and one that was during the jazz era was called a the devil's tone because of just how weird it sounds, even though it's technically the halfway point. So we have two examples of that that I'm going to quickly go over. Uh, first off, you've probably heard it before. The Simpsons. Usually you hear this idea going back to the major, uh, the perfect fifth, which we'll talk about later. Descending, we have the other way around. So in even flow for Pearl Jam. Left his head on a pillow made of concrete. That's a tritone, but we also have You Must Take the Atrium, which is You must take the atrium. This flat five you're gonna hear a lot in jazz as well. So that's a quick look at the major third, the ascending and descending, and the tritone. We'll uh, look at those more um, when we look at chords, but 
that was a quick way of looking at those two. And that is my time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you learned something, let me know in the comments below, as well as any questions you have about this particular topic or other topics that you would like to learn. Share this with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. That way you can see more videos like this. So next week, I'll be looking at Perfect Fourths, and then the following week, I'll be looking at Perfect Fifths. Two that are pretty similar in motion when you look at the interval. But until then, this is The Music Fan, and I'm signing off.